in Block, there are a multitude of unique abilities that make you better in the game of soccer. And there are a lot of arguments about which ability is better than the other, but that's not what I'm here to talk about for today. Today, I'm here to talk about the ability of Metavision. So I'll basically be breaking down Metavision in this video and talking about why it's so OP and why Sagi needs it to progress in the story the way he's going. Before we begin, I'd like to ask you to like the video and subscribe to my channel as I do make a lot of Blue Lock content and I'm beginning to post more often. But without further ado, let's get into the video. We first see Metavision thoroughly explained in chapter 181, where Isagi is trying to follow Kaiser close behind and study his patterns and abilities from far away. In this chapter, Ness and Kaiser are playing together as usual and they're going through the defense. And Isagi is just breaking it all down just to see exactly what Kaiser is doing and how he could reach the next level. We see what Kaiser is doing is basically contradicting everything that Isagi thinks, where Isagi says he'll pick a less crowded spot, but instead Kaiser starts running straight ahead to the defenders and Isagi says he can't understand why he did that and what in the world is he visualizing but then he sees the way Kaiser's moving is that he's not even looking at the ball at all and to be precise he's twisting his neck to see everything instead of the ball and then finally Isagi realizes what he's doing but as this is going on Kaiser finally got the ball and is faced with multiple defenders to which Shigiri says your shot course is dead but Kaiser simply responds with you're blind and kicks the ball into the goal. We then cut back to the Isagi who's thinking about Kaiser's eyes and he says this is what I should devour from him. The big bang piece to become the best in the world. Isagi says even though the Kaiser impact is amazing, it's not something that he can just pick up and learn because it's a genius weapon that's unique to Kaiser. And what he needs to pay attention to was the process of how Kaiser found the shock horse faster than anyone and how he arrived there faster than anyone. And Isagi claims that the reason he did was undoubtedly the way he used his eyes. We then go on to get an explanation of central and peripheral vision. Basically, central vision is something you directly perceive and in high quality, but peripheral vision is low resolution images that are outside of your central vision. And when it comes to soccer, in order to perceive the entire field, every player and the ball while in motion, it's important to be able to absorb as much information as possible from your peripheral vision. And if you focus too much on the ball with your central vision, you lose the information of the scene around you, so when it comes to your surroundings, your decision making speed is delayed. But Isagi says even knowing that, when one has to dribble and pass while running full speed, they'll focus too much and narrow their field of vision. But it's likely that Kaiser is constantly inputting new information that he gets from his peripheral vision. By constantly renewing the information of both his friends and foes, he knows who's doing what and where which is what allows him to get to the best point that no one could even comprehend. Isagi then goes on to say that if the state of a field is a 2D image, then the image of a play that one player can visualize would be something of 3D. And when players move around using only their own images, it can cause misses and tears at the seams. And having a vision yet above that, which can visualize every image and destroy them, one could say Kaiser's brain and eyes are a fourth dimensional vision, a godlike vision that stands above that of everyone else's better known as Metavision. So in its most basic form, Kaiser's brain and eyes are always on overdrive and he's constantly inputting new information that he's gaining from looking around into his brain. So he knows where everyone is and finally will find the best place to be to implement his Kaiser impact to score an amazing goal. By taking in information from a lower dimension like he's been doing, he could never win against Kaiser. But then Isagi begins thinking back to his other goals, to which he says the first goal he scored in Blue Lock, and all the situations where he could smell the sense of a goal, and that one moment where he alone was able to catch the distortion between Sei and Rin, those were all only possible because his own eyes and brain transcended everyone else on the field, and that was surely the sensation of Metavision. So his first goal in Blue Lock, the time he surpassed Rin and Shido, and the time he scored the final goal in the U20 game, were undoubtedly glimpses of his metavision and we see this as well in chapter 103 where it's displayed basically the same as metavision he even has the same eyes and all but it just wasn't really explained at that point it was just explained as um thinking in reverse by hiori or thinking reflexively but doing this automatically put isai in a state of flow allowing him to surpass both shido and rin but back to chapter 182 Isagi is thinking does that mean Kaiser keeps up Metavision the entire 90 minutes and thinks of if that is even possible but then he goes on to say that if it was he could become like a god and he goes on to say that with direct shot and Metavision being his formula he could beat any of the strikers or players he's been up against before now. Kaiser then goes up to Isagi and says was it fun to stalk me or perhaps you understand my plays now and have become so filled with despair that I've left you speechless. 
but Asagi simply responds, no, and thank you, Kaiser. I see hope in crushing you now. He then says to himself, I want to test out this theory. And the ending blur of this chapter says a door was open and the path towards the best in the world lies before his eyes. The next chapter begins with kickoff and Isagi immediately starts using Metavision. Calls it the piece of evolution. Isagi then says to himself that instead of just focusing on the one particular player, I need to use my peripheral vision to see the entire field and latch on to more, even more information in my field of view. Not only do I need to understand the entire flow of the game, but also who is going where to do what and what's going to happen next. We then see the whole game basically revolving around Isagi and he says this is tiring out my brain and eyes, but he's trying to process everything inside of his head. He's basically moving the same as Kaiser, twisting his neck to add more information to his database and get to the best point that he can in order to destroy the Manshine City team. But while doing this, he says, it's as if there's a new brain circuit upon me, granting me super senses. Don't lose track of the field, keep going more and more and more. And then we see this next panel of him thinking of basically everything on the field. I'm not going to even try to read all this out, but he's basically, you know, dissecting the entire plays of the entire field. And this happens for about two pages until Nagi finally gets to the place that he needs to be to catch a pass. But Isagi gets there first and says meta burst point has been distorted and grabs the ball from Nagi and says your creativity is no more than play pretend to me Nagi. After that, we see Agi saying that number 11, he's different from before. But Isagi just says Metavision is way more amazing than he expected. And he sees everything and understands everything. And he never knew this scenery existed. And then the next page, we see that literally everyone is surprised, you know, even Noah Noah, which is very interesting. But we'll get more into Noah Noah later. In the next chapter, we cut to Hiori, who says, was that reflex just now? No, it's something even more. And we go to Isagi, who's saying, time to use Metavision on the offense. He calls over to Corona, who says, you're going to destroy them from the right side, right? I'm ready when you are. But he cuts them off and says no need, because right now he can see much more. Corona is obviously confused at this because he doesn't have the same level of vision as Isagi. So Isagi just says, follow me. We will break through the middle. And they begin doing just that and going through the defense pretty easily. No one can really catch them and they continue to blow past the defense. And finally, they get to the best pass course. To which Isagi says he'll run in using the stupid hero being Kunigami as bait. Then he successfully breaks into the penalty area and he's about to shoot. But instead of shooting, Krona comes out of the blind spot and kicks the ball to the perfect place in order for Isagi to get his best goal piece. Finally, all that's left is for Isagi to score his goal. Krona tells Isagi, let's go Isagi, finish it. To which Isagi is thinking is coming to the perfect spot and there's even no need to trap it. And finally, Isagi does the metavision and direct shot, but is intercepted by Kaiser, who says, well, excuse me, very cool, Isagi, welcome to my dimension. Implying that Isagi, of course, has the same vision and metavision as Kaiser. But after thinking for a while, Isagi completely disregards Kaiser and kicks it through his legs, saying, get out of the way, and putting it in the perfect place to score a goal. But out of nowhere, Kunigami came in and scored it in instead. This obviously makes Isagi very angry since the whole play was basically his and Kunigami came out of nowhere and hijacked it. But of course Kaiser comes up to basically nag at Isagi and says he shouldn't have shot and all he had to do was let him have the ball. He continues to say you definitely weren't in a good position to score by shooting between my legs and as we both saw you did miss in the end. And he says you must really love dishing out assists. But Isagi responds just with pure rage saying I'll kill you even if it's the last thing I do. But we then cut to Noah Noah, who says, fantastic, Isagi Oichi. Don't let this break you. You may not notice, but this ticket you found to becoming the best in the world, it can even lead you right to me. Now, this statement of Noah Noah's is pretty interesting, since if, if you go back to the chapter where the Kaiser impact was explained, Noah Noah said that his right kick was the only thing that Kaiser had basically surpassed him in, which obviously would include vision, since it's a very vital point in playing soccer. So if we're taking that into account, this could mean that Isagi's raw potential along with Metavision could just be better than Noah Noah. And it's not even crazy to think that Noah Noah's vision is above Metavision since of course, you know, Isagi basically describes Metavision as a piece to get him to the next level. But I'll go more into this later in the video. Going back to Isagi, he says that there's no doubt that Metavision is a powerful weapon, but just like how he learned it from Kaiser, one can probably acquire it too if they have a great soccer knowledge and awareness. And there's probably a lot of pros who use this ability. He goes on to say that particularly if one is a midfielder or a playmaker, they'd probably scan the field the same way he did to find the best pass route and shot course from a higher dimension. 
And at that moment, it clicks in his brain and says, understanding that is how Say was able to play like that when Bullock faced him in the U20 match. And it's very possible that he also has MetaVision, which means that now he's definitely broke through to the next level. But at that moment, Isagi collapses due to the extreme strain that MetaVision had on his body and brain, saying that it drained away a lot of his physical and mental stamina, since he was basically functioning as a machine that was working at full power continuously. Then he goes on to say that he can't have the same level of vision as him, and he's got to surpass him and crush him. And if he doesn't crush him, he can't show the world his value as a striker. The game begins again and Isagi wastes no time going straight into MetaVision. The next chapter begins with Agi saying that Isagi's movements have clearly leveled up from before, and in this game he's slowly becoming the eye of the storm. He then begins clashing with Kunigami, and we cut to Isagi saying it's a bad idea to move right now, and that Shigiri, Reino, and Kaiser are also here, and if he includes himself, they're in a 3v3 situation, and going between them now is not a safe bet. And at that moment he thinks back to when Noah, Noah, and Lavinio were clashing and he decided to intervene, which led to Noah, Noah losing the clash. And he says, it's just like that situation I was in when Noah and Lavinia went up against each other. But the difference is that right now, he understands the current position. And he's staying put to observe the situation. Which is basically what Kaiser explained that he was doing in the same position against Noah, Noah, and Lavinia. The game continues, and Isagi basically read all of Agi's movements and got to a place where he can steal the ball. But due to them sharing the same field of vision, Kaiser got there as well, which led to them both clashing with each other and losing the ball. Kaiser says, so we thought the same, Yoichi. And Isagi says, then you should have let me have it, Naked Emperor. And this does just confirm that Isagi has the same level of vision as Kaiser. At this point in time, Nagi and Ryo begin playing together again. And, and Ryo, of course, is trying to evolve Nagi to the next level. And he sees his dream of beating Isagi in a one-on-one -on -one and passes it to the perfect point where he could actually face Isagi in a one-on-one -on -one and begin playing. Nagi says, here I come, Egoist, and traps the ball. To which Isagi says, amazing, he's coming, which way is he going to go? and says no, he's gonna shoot right now, and goes for an attempted block of the shot, but Nagi does a feint, to which Isagi thinks a two-stage volley feint, I've already seen that, but he's seen through it, and can reach the ball with his head just in time to shut it down, but Nagi out of nowhere does another volley. He then goes on to fight Kaiser and does another volley, <laughs> three consecutive volleys, and then faces Isagi again and does another volley, and Isagi says even with Metavision he can't stop this. And Nagi says, think to Isagi, he's the best player in the world. And Nagi finishes his five shot volley goal, tying the game up two to two. This basically shows the fault of MetaVision, which is that if someone's creative enough, they can basically outplay MetaVision, even though you have godlike vision that stands above everyone else's. And the fact that MetaVision is able to be overshadowed by the likes of enhanced creativity is shown when Isagi says, once he had freely changing creativity at his disposal, his evolution was so explosive that it was outrageous. And to be precise, he was able to deal with him up until a certain point, until Rayo's final pass, both Kaiser and him were able to read his movements, and yet, the godly phenomenon he showed at the end was without a doubt world class. To kind of conclude this video, MetaVision is basically an ability that allows you to absorb all the information that you see, whether that be in your peripheral vision or your central vision, and can get you leaps and bounds above your average level. The characters that are basically confirmed to have this meta vision is Isagi, Kaiser, Sei, most likely Lorenzo, and also maybe even people like Nico and Flo Stay Rin, since as we see, meta vision always has this kind of portrayal in art as um having tiled floors in a mostly dark background. And both Flo Stay Rin and Nico have these kind of views while they're playing the game and observing their opponents. So, you know, even though it might not be to the fullest extent, it's at the very least very high spatial awareness. It's likely that all the pros have this ability as well, since it allows them to basically navigate the field however they like and get to the best points that they need to be at in order to score goals or take the ball and things of that nature. But that's all I really have for today. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to of course like and subscribe and also go check out some more of my videos. Goodbye.